me in the fact that why am I qualified to speak about leadership? Well, I grew up in the islands of the Bahamas. And then I worked there for a little while and came over to big USA and landed in Florida. And that's about as big as uh, the US got for me. And when I came here, I worked for another bunch of years, right? So 20 plus years. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, you don't look a day over 30. So there's no way you got 20 plus years. Well, I got a little north of 20 years. Last position was uh, with AAA as the Vice President of Marketing. And I made so many mistakes in leadership that I feel that I'm so qualified now I can teach you. <laughs> right? Because I've been there and done it. Let me tell you a little story about a car. Now, imagine. Imagine that you could have any car in the world. Think, pick up a car, right? Lamborghini, Mercedes, BMW, any car in the world. The catch is, you could only have one car. You could only have one car for your entire life. One car. What would you do? I'll tell you. You would read the manual from beginning to end, right? You would take that car in for oil changes, probably duh. You would take it for maintenance, right? You would shine it, buff it. You would take very, very good care of it. You would invest in it. Why? Because it's the only one for your entire life. And that's how it is with you. See, there's only one you. There's only one you. And taking care and investing in yourself is a part of leadership. Because if you don't start at home, it's hard to be able to lead anyone else. You would take care of yourself, and you would be like this car. You would say, I got to invest in myself, right? Because real leadership is about valuing yourself. I truly believe that the first principle to build real leadership, real value in your leadership, is to value yourself. From an outcome perspective, in terms of achieving your overall goal, which of these has the most risk or the most obstacles? Which is the one that's there? To achieve goals? For me, I would say the toughest one that I have out there right now is trust one. Because I'm so, you know, I'm, I'm so that big D on the chart, right? I like to say I'm the eagle instead of the D. I just think it sounds better, right? Yeah. But I had to work on that D and bring it down and bring my eye up because I always wanted to control everything. And I realized that you, when you try to control things, you ain't in control. So for me, it's that whole trust factor. And I struggled putting it on this because after the 12, I said, do I want to show trust? I mean, because why I struggle? But it's a very good Very uh, informative presentation. I think we really learned a lot from Donna tonight. My favorite uh, value was time because I at least have a lot, hopefully, a lot of that left. And um, hopefully, I can apply all the other values. Like yes, definitely some actionable items for us to take back to our team and hopefully uh, weave into the, the culture of our business. Thank you very much.